Hello and welcome to this exploring session of the Chester Mystery Cycle, and we're at play 15, the baker's play of The Last Supper and The Betrayal in the Garden of Gethsemane. This play is much less busy than the previous few. It's only got two locations, The Last Supper and then some travel to the garden for The Betrayal. We confused ourselves during the read-through as to at what point the journey to the garden occurs. It's somewhere in the middle of Jesus making a massive speech. You can go to the show notes to find a nice accessible version of the text online to follow as you listen at your leisure. It may not be exactly the same because there are lots of variations in text for Chester. Anyway, here is the first stab at getting into the play. This was workshopped with our Beyond Shakespeare Irregulars on a dull Saturday morning in September 2018. There are stumbles and errors, but that is par for the course. More fulsome audio versions of all these exploring session plays one day will be released. And as we'll be recording a more proper version of this anon, please share your thoughts or suggestions about where we go from here. Submit suggestions, clarifications, and passive-aggressive abuse either on our Patreon page by joining us or on Twitter at Beyond Shakes. You can also email us at admin at beyondshakespeare.org. The Irregulars were Richard Fawcett as Jesus, with Liz Cole, Mark Scanlon, Mark Sabaton, and Alan Scott as everyone else. And I'm, as per usual, your host, Robert Crichton. And this is Play 15 of the Chester Mystery Cycle. Enjoy. It's a much more straightforward... There's basically a lot of silent disciples who don't say anything. So, in theory, there are 12 people around us, um, all being really silent, and that's fine. Just... OK, uh, once again... Uh, I think... Does Jesus start it again? Yes. <laughs> Lucky Jesus. <laughs> Jesus and Peter, mostly, and John, I think, says a few more than one stanza, but he doesn't say much. OK. Jesus. Brethren, all, to me right dear, come hither to me and you shall hear. The feast of Easter, you know, draweth near, and now it is at hand. That feast needs keep must we with very great solemnity. The paschal lamb eaten must be as the law doth command. Therefore, Peter, look that thou go, and John with thee shall be also. Prepare all things that belongeth thereto according to the law. Lord, thy bidding do will we, but tell us first where it shall be, and we shall do it speedily, and thither we will draw. Go into the city which ye do see, and there a man meet shall he with a water pot that beareth he, for so you may him know. Into what house that he shall go, into the same house enter you also, and say, The master send you to his message for to show. Say, The master to thee are sent to have a place convenient the paschal lamb to eat. There is my intent with my disciples all. A fair parlour he will show you, there prepare all things due, where I, with my retinue, fulfil the law we shall. All ready, Lord, even thy will. Shortly we too shall fulfil, and the fair city we shall go till as fast as we may. Is anyone getting a sense of deja vu? Jesus makes some really, really cryptic th- job for two disciples to go into town and do. <laughs> which, on the face of it, makes no sense at all. It's just like, it's all arranged, it's fine, you go in and just say this cryptic thing and it'll be fine. Anyway, you basically, you go into, uh, into town. There's a, there's, a, there's a sense of magic tricks here, isn't there? Yeah. R- rather yeah. than yeah. faith. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, it's, it's, all yes. Pre- it's all pre-planned yeah. to make sure it matches scripture. I mean, yeah. that, 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 that's actually explicitly stated in the Bible, is that you know, they, may, mm. they do this thing, it doesn't happen, by or chance, they're, for, they're deliberately trying to fulfil a prophecy. Anyway, he goes into town and he goes to the uh, to the house. All hail, good fellow, heartily to thy master's house. I pray thee, high, and we must keep thee company. A message for to say. Come on your way and follow me. My master's house soon shall you see. Lo, here it is, verily. Say now what ye will. And Sir, they, and, they, and they pop in. So he's the servant, so they go into the house, 
They've obviously walked over four, the course of four lines uh, a vast distance to the house, and the master is obviously of the house is obviously inside. Sir, the master saluteth thee, and as messengers send we be, therefore we pray thee heartily, take heed as until. The master hath sent us to thee, a place prepare for him must we. The paschal lamb there eat will he with his disciples all. Lo, here a parlour ready dight, and with paved floors and windows bright, to make all things ready, as you think right, and this have you shall. Now, brother Peter, let us hie the paschal lamb to make ready, then to our master will you and I, as fast as we may. And off they trot back again. Thy commandment, Lord, done have we. The paschal lamb is made ready. Therefore come on, and you shall see, and we shall lead the way. Now, brethren, go to your seat. The paschal lamb now let us eat, and then we shall of other things entreat that be of great effect. So everyone's sort of sauntering in, everyone's getting their seats. It's a nice place. We've already had, you know, it's got paved floors and windows. You know, it's a, it's a nice room. You know, we've already bought it. You didn't need to sell it to us again. Uh, and of course, we're here for Easter, which is lovely. Nobody mentioned that in, the, the, in, in Jesus' opening oration, which I, I really like. We're here for Easter. Which, of course, is an anachronism. Yes. <laughs> Total anachronism. It's not, the fir- it's not the first. You know, we've got people swearing by God's blood uh, in... in uh, uh, in, in the nativity uh, by Christ's passion I'm going, he's, he's just been born leave the poor bugger alone uh, <laughs> that time is circular that everything happens at the same time it makes sense in Doctor Who land it makes perfect sense it makes perfect sense within the medieval mindset everything, everything is circular everything happens at the same time there is no such thing as time uh, and we're not suggesting for a second that Doctor Who is the same as Christ are we? Um, I forget which slide we got to, but anyway, everyone's coming in, and, uh, and I think we're ready. Uh, Jesus is ready to make his, his big, long speech. Uh, now, brethren, yeah? Yeah, yeah go, so as they're all yeah. coming in and you're gathering them around. Now, brethren, go to your seat. This paschal lamb now let us eat, and then we shall of other things entreat that be of great effect. For you know the time is come that signs and shadows be all done. Therefore, make haste that we may soon all figures clean reject. For now a new law I will begin to help mankind out of his sin, so that he may heaven win the which for sin he lost. And here, in presence of you all, another sacrifice begin I shall to bring mankind out of his thrall, for help him need I must. Brethren, I tell you by and by, with great desire desired have I this Passover to eat with you truly before my passion. For I say to you sickly, my Father's will almighty I must fulfill meekly and ever to be bone. This bread I give here my blessing. Take, eat, brethren, at my bidding, for leave you well without leasing. This is my body that shall die for all mankind in remission of their sin. This give I you on me to mind, a after evermore. Father of heaven, I thank thee for all that ever thou doest to me. Brethren, takes this with heart free that is my blood, that shall be shed on the tree. For more together drink not we, in heaven bliss till that we be, to taste that ghostly food. I'm just going to pause there. Obviously, there are various stage directions, but broadly speaking, they're all explaining what you are doing, which you are saying, what you are doing. So I thought it was sort of self-evident, uh, going around the disciples, bread, wine, etc. Yeah, but and um, then... the next one is, uh, however, slightly slightly different because um, you're now approaching Judas. Uh, Judas is getting his bread, which is quite an important mm, point. The important dramatic point here is that Judas is also going to eat and drink of, of, right. of, of the, the and, and that's the point which is coming up next. Um, so that's quite imp- that's the reason why I pause there because it's an important dramatic point because there have been presumably lots of significant looks as Jesus is going around and doing doing this. Anyway, um, and this is a very dramatic point almost that he looks at Judas as he hands him the bread and, uh, and he says these next lines. Brethren, forsooth I you say, 
one of you shall me betray that eateth here with me today in this company. Alas, alas, and wheel away. Who that may be, no I ne may, for I it is not in good faith that shall do such annoy. Hard it is for us all to whom this case shall befall. We be but twelve within this hall. Lord, tell if it should be I. Sorrowful for these words be we. Who it is I cannot see. If this case shall fall to me, Lord, tell me hastily. Through his deceit I am but dead, that in my cup wets his bread. Much woe for his wicked reed, that wretch must thoroughly wis. Well were him had he been unborn, for body and soul is both forlorn, that falsely so hath done befawn, and yet in will he is. And I did miss the stage direction earlier that Judas does at this point presumably actually physically eat. I think that's what that stage direction mm. is saying. So he's got the bread, he's, he's, been set, he's been warned, he then eats, and then you, 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 you finish off that. Judas, however, continues, obviously now, slightly afraid, I suggest. Mm. Mm. Leaf, master, is it not I that shall do thee this villainy? Thou hast read, Judas, readily, for sicker thou art he. That thou shalt do, do hastily. Farewell, all this company, for on an errand I must hie, and done it may not be. I'm just going to pause there, because that's the, the first two bits of that, Judas and Jesus, that there is there's to one side, obviously, mm. uh, and then it's the uh, <coughs> ah, farewell. You know, uh, uh, I'm just I'm Go just nipping out. I've <laughs> got to get some fags. <laughs> but anyway, brethren, take up this meat anon. To another work we must go on. Your feet shall wash and be each one to show all charity. And first myself I will begin and wash you all that be herein on this deed that you may mine and meeker for to be. Ay, Lord, shalt thou wash my feet? That do I, Peter, I thee be height. The while more thou shalt not wit, but thou shalt afterward. Nay, Lord, forsooth in no manner, my feet shall not thou wash here. But I wash thee with utten weir, of joy gets thou no part. Nay, Lord, my feet may well be laid, but wash my hands and my head. All is clean, therefore do my reed. Thy feet shall wash and be, and you clean, but not all. Lord, of well thou art the wall, and though it not well befall, I have here my feet to thee. And washy, washy, washy. And presumably this next speech is spoken actually as he's washing your feet? Or yes. I mean, he's a, he presumably only does one, otherwise there's a bit well, bloody long. Wash, washes them all in singularly, doesn't it? Or is that a... Uh, it, ah, that I, that's a slightly different uh, stage direction to what I've got. Ah. So maybe he does them all. I mean, mm. God, that must be long. I mean, the, you it have a... It could be a lick and a promise. It yeah, it must... Flick, the, 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 flick there's a question of also how performed this is. I mean, the, Is it symbolic of them all being clean? Yeah. So, the, the, you know, Judas is the only, only dirty one. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think that's the logic. Um, but yeah, it's but just the question now, <laughs> does Jesus do all, all the feet or does he just do uh, Peter as the, as the exemplar and then move on? Well, um, I think it's about to be... Well, well not reminded, but it's, it's but foot, isn't yeah, it? No. It's more than one foot. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it, certainly the stage direction is feet of all. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's... From my yeah, schoolboy um, lesson. Let me have a look. Oh, no, no, I haven't I have got that one. No, sorry. Um, yeah, so he's doing that while he's... I mean, he's got eight lines to do it in. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so, you know, he's got... his dog can run along. Man. Yeah. Like, line up. Um, he's now running a car wash in Sudbury. Uh, <laughs> it, it's an interesting... Because um, in terms of performance, there's, uh, there's a, a reference to uh, making signs of doing something. So it's not necessarily you do something literally and in a very naturalistic way. There might be some sort of just action that is done. But, you know, just with a cloth or something, just quickly... Mm -hmm going round, um, I mean there might be music, there's no mention of music in the stage direction, so uh, it's a good question. Anyway. He's about to tell Peter that he's going to deny him thrice. Yes, yes, so, yes. so Peter in fact is not clean in any way. No, no. no. Um, but in that, in that sense it makes him feel more guilty, so dramatically mm. it has a, a good point. Anyway, let us, mm. let, us, let us park that interesting question for the moment. Uh, my dear brethren, I 
think. Yes. Right. yes. My dear brethren, well wit ye that Lord and Master you call me, and well you say, as it should be, I am and have been your. Sith I have washen your feet here, Lord and Master, in meek manner, to each one to other in fear, as I have done before. My children and my brethren free, little while may I with you be, but thither shall you not go with me, as I am now in way. But this soothly is my bidding. You love together in all thing, as I before, without fletching, have loved you truly, a, eh? So all men may know and see, my disciples, that you be falsehood if you always flee, and love and well in fear. Lord, whither art thou in way? Peter, thither as I go today, come nigh sickly thou ne may, this time in no manner, but thou shalt thither go. Why shall it not, Lord, now be so? My life I will put in woe, and for thy sake be slain. Peter, I say thee sickly, ere the cock her crow and thry, thou shalt forsake my company and take thy word again. Brethren, let not your hearts be sore, but leave in God evermore, and in me as you have before, and care not for this case. For in my father house there is many warnings of great bliss, and thither I will go now, we wis, to purvey you a place. And though I go from you away, to purvey a place to your pay, I come again another day, and take you all with me. Lord, we wot not in good fay, what manner a gate thou will assay. <clears throat> tell us that we know may, that gate, and go with thee. Thomas, I tell thee without strife, in me is way, soothness, and life, and to my father no man, no wife, may come without me. And if you knew me verily, my father you might know in high, from henceforth I say you sickly, Know him all, shall ye. Lord, let us see thy father anon, and suffice, sufficeth us every one. A long time you have with me gone, Philip, why sayest thou so? Sickly, who seeth me, seeth my father, I tell it thee. Why wills thou my father to see while I with you go? Philip, Leavest thou not this, that my father in me is, and I in him also we wis, and both we be one? The works that I do are his, for his help may I not miss. Therefore, to win you heaven bliss, my deeds you leave upon. Whatsoever you ask my father, dear, in my name, in good manner, to fulfil it, I have power. All that is to my pay, that my Father in majesty by me glorified may be, and either as I say to thee, for one have been a. If that you love me heartily, keep my bidding truly, and to my Father pray will I to send you the Holy Ghost, to abide with you evermore, for the world knoweth not his law, but you that have known me your, in you he shall be most. Though I go now to distress, I will not leave you comfortless, but leaves this well and express, eft I will come again. And then your hearts on a row shall gladly be my bliss to know. With joy shall no man take you fro, would he never so fain. Rise up, and go we... It, I mean, that's a massive speech you've done. You've got another massive speech coming up. Uh, I don't know if this particular little train of thought, uh, is it desperation? You've not got long to get your message across. Is there emotion here? It's almost like, you know, you're going to take every last opportunity to persuade them. You know, you, 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 you go to Philip, you've missed the point again. It's, it's, same degree to some degree with Thomas. Um, and it, it's that, that last chance saloon. Um, I don't know if this particular little speech at all, this particular theme, is in any of the other versions. It doesn't ring a bell. I don't know it's in any of the principles either. Well, I mean, not at this length. No, no, no. Um, but it, it, it's just it, uh, applying some psychology to a play that possibly doesn't have any. 
that's my that was my thought is that there's you know it's either that or it's just simply because they haven't got up to go yet. Uh, I don't think they're sort of maybe tidying up before they go to Gethsemane, but I don't think they're actually physically uh, gone. I, there. I, I think it, I think it's almost a, um, a pricey. You know, let's let's do a recapitulation of all of the bullet points. Well, yeah, but it's it's in response to a very specific question, and it's it, mm. it, 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 there is an admonition there to Philip. You know, um, how long have you been with me? What, and you say this, if you're not got it, I'm I am yeah. God. You, know, you don't need to go. To, I am God, I'm God, and He is me, and we all all together cuckoo cuckoo. But uh, should we go from rise up and go we heathen anon? Right, rise up and go we heathen anon. To my prayer I must go. On. But sit you still, every one, my father, while I call. Oh, no, sir, I'm wrong. You must already be there. So maybe this is journeying to talk with Philip, etc. But isn't, isn't, isn't this where the disciples um, sit apart on Gethsemane? Yeah, that, that's it, yes. So when he's saying, go, we, yeah. so I'm going, I'm just going anon. Yeah, because at the end of the you next sit there. paragraph, basically, yeah. you've got the... So they've gone, to yeah. Gethsemane. Yeah. They've, gone to Gethsemane. Yeah. they've gone to Gethsemane at some point in the last couple of pages yeah you've left the house of uh, of uh, uh, of resort and also ben is on hmm what's ben is on um blessing uh, blessing. blessing yeah. oh thank you um could have guessed that. Or, or it's a posh lunch yeah <laughs> so so you're in gethsemane but you you've set they're set aside and you're going separately to, mm. to speak anyway the, maybe uh, the, uh, Rise up and go, we heathen anon, to my prayer I must go on, but sit you still, every one, my father, while I call. Wakes and have benison for falling into temptation. The spirit a to bail is bone, and the flesh a ready to fall. Father of heaven, in majesty, glorify, if thy will be, thy son, that he may glorify thee, now ere I heaven wend. In earth thou hast given me paucity, and I have done with heart free the work that thou charged me, and brought it to an end. Thy name have I made men to know, and spared not thy will to show to my disciples on a row that thou hast given me. And now they know verily that from the Father sent am I, therefore I pray thee especially, save them through thy mercy. And he turns around... What? Sleep, you brethren all here. Rise up and make your prayer, lest temptation have power to make you for to fall. The flesh, as, as I said before, inclining a to sin, sore, and ghost occupied evermore, therefore now wakes all. And My heart, sorry. And having woken them, off he pops again. My heart is in great misliking for death that is to me coming Father, if I dare ask this thing, put this away from me. All thing to thee possible is, nevertheless now in this, at your will I am, I wis, as thou wilt, let it be. You sleepen, brethren, yet I see, sleeps on now all ye. My time is come, taken to be, from you I must away. He that hath betrayed me, this night from him will I not flee. In sorry time born was he, and so he may well say. Okay, and the various cohorts come in. Um, if you would like to be Malchus, if you can be first Jew, there is no second Jew. Um, <laughs> um, uh, there is... Uh, you can still be Peter, and I think that's everybody. Um, I can. Uh, there is two lines randomly missing coming up. Um, the military cohort enters. You men, I ask, whom seek ye? Jesus of Nazareth, we, him seek we. Here, already, I am he. What have you for to say? Hey, sweet master, kiss me, for it is long since I thee see. And together we will flee and steal from them away. What seek you men with such a breath? We seek Jesus of Nazareth. Missing lines. I say your, and yet I say I am he in good faith. Suffer these men to go their way, and I am at your will. 
False thief, thou shalt gone to Bishop Caiaphas, and that anon, or shall I shall break thy bo body and bone, and thou be too late. Thief, and thou be so bold, my master so for to hold, thou shalt be quit an hundredth fold, and onward take thou that. Be thou so bold as thrive I to hold my master here in high, full dear shalt thou it abide, but thou the heathen dight. Thy ear shall off by God's grace, ere thou pass from this place. He's got a very specific target. He is the ear he's Sorry. going for. He knows he's going for the ear. He's going to slice the ear off. It's none of this he's going to stab you in the, in the stomach or anything. It's definitely going for the ear. Um, yeah. Because that's what it says. That's what happened. happens in the Bible. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I hate to think where he was aiming. I mean, if he was going for the neck, then, you know, he's going for a mortal wound. <laughs> anyway, and slunk. Go plant thee now to Caiaphas, and bid him do thee right. Out, alas, alas, alas! By cock's bones, my near ear he has. Me is betide a hard case. There I come here. Peter, put up thy sword in high. Whosoever with the sword smiteth gladly, with sword shall perish hastily, I tell thee with Uten Weir. And special effect, the ear <coughs> is magically back. Ah, well is me, well is me. My ear is healed now, I see. So merciful a man as is he, I ne'er knew none. Yea, though he has healed thee, shut from us shall he not be, but to Sir Caiaphas... I mo as mot I thee, as with us shall I be gone. As to a thief ye come here with sword and staves and armour to take me in foul manner to end your and end your wicked will. In temple with you when I was a, no hand on me would you lay, but now is come in time and day your talent to fulfil. Can come Caitiff to Caiaphas, or thou shalt have a hard grace. Trot upon a prouder pass, thou vile popolard, through Beelzebub and Sathanas, come to help thee in this case. Both thy hands that thou hast shall be bound and hard. Ooh. And the cuffs go on, and thus ends the play. Um, presumably, all the uh, the you know upon the ear moment. Uh, I mean, Peter and around all the disciples all buggered off. I mean, there's very little disciple action in this play. I mean, there's, um, you know, they're, they're presumably all there. I, I love the part of... Um, I forgot about the falling asleep. What's all that about? They just... It's a bit rude, isn't it? Well, it is. I mean, it's the thing is, they presumably know they're in mortal danger. They've just been told they're in mortal danger. They go to a garden and, you know, sit and pray and think about the fact we're all about to be arrested. And, you know, they're all supposed to stand with him at the end and what happens they all fall asleep and the moment the guards turn up all of them bugger off <laughs> well they they're all they've also been slogging around the place they've had a good meal, meal yeah. with wine yeah. you know it's caught up it, it, with them. It, it, it's his own he organized the refreshments i mean yeah. basically you're asking for them to fall asleep aren't yeah. you he's, he's, sort of he's organized the piss up yeah sort of saying, oh jesus Definitely. we've heard this all before you know yeah. yeah, none of this is new. None of this is new. Um, I love, I love, I can just hear the actor who they got to do Malchus because it's presumably, it's not a big part. He's only got three little stanzas. But you know, they're not difficult to learn. Out! Alas! 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 You can hear the kind of actor chosen for that role, can't you? <laughs> that you, you get the real proper. Um, Voice actor. Uh, you know, the, you get the proper uh, respected local actor or even a hired in hand. To play Jesus, and then you get somebody who's not who's enthusiastic. <laughs> Is there any special effects? I'm assume, I, I assume there's some kind of special. I, I imagine there's a fake ear and blood and yeah, all yeah, the, you know yeah. the, 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 they they really were went for it. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I think it's the Chester cycle. I could be wrong, but one of the cycles from after the crucifixion, I think the Last Judgment play. We'll discover this in a few weeks' time. Um, Jesus has continuing separating, um, pouring of blood from all the uh, uh, nail holes. Mm. Uh, and I, I think in the last judgment, I think I could be wrong about this. It might not be Chester, and it might not be in the last judgment play. But I think it's basically he's he's just there, and it's just constantly just going throughout. It's just it's a constant 
I am doing judgment, and he's this terrifying figure. That's so Catholic, though, that image of the mm. bleeding heart. And yeah, but that, 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 was, that was the culture of the time. Um, Isn't that a bit of an upstage? Well, to be fair, he was upstage, <laughs> and uh, uh, I think God's next to him, so, you know, maybe he's God sitting there going, oh, God's at one side with a towel, just going, for God's sake, stop bleeding on me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> upstage by a <laughs> Um, so, that's the last Chester for this and week. That, and that's a peculiar cliffhanger at the end there, isn't it? When everyone's saying, oh, I wonder what happens next. <laughs> oh, God, you know what happens next. <laughs>